Excuse me, little dog. Hi, guys. It is another cold, gray, gloomy, yuck winter day in mid-October. That is Tuesday, October 18, 2022. So, guys, just letting you know, I'm, I'm trying something a little bit different on Collapse Chronicles for uh, a while, just to compare some notes with all the doom and gloom going on uh, every day uh, between the mainstream, the alternative media, everything you're sending me. You know, what I do is, is I choose one and yak on for 30 minutes and then find out that, you know, most people listen for five minutes and I don't even mention all the other ones. So what I'm going to start doing here for a few days is making my vid. I'm going to have more shorter uh, chronicles of the collapse, and I will just put a, I will just put the link on to the story. And you, and if what you hear sounds interesting, you can go on the link and hear it yourself. And uh, and the my Manga Bay Roundup, we we're talking about these carbon offsetting uh, schemes uh, that Rhett Butler's a big fan of. And so I open up oilprice.com. So instead of doing an entire oilprice.com, here is the a, the, a good as explanation of any for anyone trying to figure out why these things are bullshit is right to it oilprice.com the problem with carbon offsetting again I will put the link you can take it from here uh, multiple energy aviation and industrial companies are using using carbon offsetting practices to decarbonize their operations as governments put mounting pressures pressure on companies around the world to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions many firms are using carbon offsetting techniques to respond to reduction targets without reducing the amount of greenhouse gases their operations produce. So you do understand what this is all about. It is smoke and mirrors. But not everyone is so sure about the efficacy of this practice with some investors actively avoiding companies that opt for offsetting. So what is carbon offsetting. A carbon offset is a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. Well, it, well it's not. It's called a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions used to compensate for emissions that occur elsewhere, meaning in their business. For example, okay, an airline can offset the emissions it produces when burning fossil fuels by planting trees to sequester CO2. We're going to have another story in a separate video along these lines. Meanwhile, a carbon offset credit refers to a transferable instrument certified by governments or independent certification bodies to represent an emission reduction of one metric ton of CO2 or an equivalent amount of other greenhouse gases. You know, the, the layers of BS. Uh, so carbon offset practices are used by companies, well, by, you know, by corporations to achieve lower net greenhouse gas emissions or 
at least to convey to the public that they are acting to decarbonize. Carrying out carbon offsetting operations allows companies to reduce their cost and respond to government and I would say citizen pressure to cut their carbon without actually reducing CO2 from their operations. Yes, in theory, if a company can report lower annual emissions, even if it, uh, even if they do not lower their annual emissions, in fact, their emissions can and probably can continue to rise under the, under this BS. In theory, so if a company can report lower annual emissions, it is complying with carbon cutting policies and supporting international decarbonization targets. However, some investors or anybody else with a brain believe that not all carbon cutting initiatives are born equal. Um, DC VC, a Silicon Valley venture capital firm that invests in a multitude of climate tech companies, for example, is not interested in investing in firms that use carbon offsetting. The company's co-founder explains, quote, we do not look at companies that need to use carbon offsets to make their business model work close quote, companies that offset their carbon emissions can purchase a certificate to show how much carbon they have reduced through offsetting techniques. This may be using carbon capture and storage technology, oh yeah, planting trees or other methods. But Bogue states, quote, there have been some studies out there that up to 90% of carbon offsets are completely ineffective. They have had no impact, which is a tragedy of our time because big Fortune 500 companies are paying millions of dollars to these carbon offsets and continuing to emit in the meantime. He adds, quote, these offsets are actually having zero impact, close quote. And uh, again, if you want to uh, continue to educate yourself uh, about, uh, sorry, uh, you can pick up from here, you know, talking about it, it, just out and out fraud and corruption, and, and, and then talking about how, you, you know, they can buy a, some, a bunch of trees somewhere, and then the trees burn down in a wildfire. And uh, so they, they produce more carbon than ever. Uh, I, I, anyway, guys, anybody... Um, carbon offsets, please. It is greenwashing, it is corporate greenwashing BS. It is a bright green lie. Anyway, I'm gonna keep doing this until my battery collapses. Be back with uh, another story about aviation saving the planet.